Okay, so in this video today, we're going to learn how to change an improper fraction to a mixed number. What makes this an improper fraction? Take a look. So the numerator is the larger number, 7 thirds. So anytime you have the larger number on top, it is improper. Let's see about changing this back to a mixed number now. So the very first thing you need to think of is Fractions are division. So another way to think of this is 7 divided by 3. And since we know 7 divided by 3, you can do this the long, um, long division method. 7, which is your first number, always goes inside the house. 7 divided by 3. So you're thinking how many times can 3 fit into 7? 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6, and subtract, and you have a remainder of 1. Now, here's your answer for your long division problem. But how do you interpret this for the mixed number? So this is very key to remember. Your quotient of 2 is your whole number. And the 1, which is your remainder, becomes the numerator. Your denominator is your divisor, which is the same as the, the denominator. So 2 and 1 third is your mixed number. So 7 thirds equals 2 and 1 third. Alright, so here's another example. This is also an improper fraction because the larger number is on top. So remember to think of this as a, uh, as a division problem of 19 divided by 5, okay? And then you can put 19 in the house, 19 divided by 5, and do your long division. 5 can go into 19 three times. 3 times 5 is 15, and when you subtract, you have 4. Now, 4 is your remainder. And so, when you get good at this, you're going to be able to do this so automatically and you're going to know that your whole number is the quotient 3 and 4 is your numerator and 5 is the denominator. And it's almost like going backwards, like the backwards C. Okay, and so that is a method that you can uh, remember that will help you go a little quicker when you're changing these. And here's our last example, another improper fraction. We know that 37 eighths means 38, 37 divided by 8. And so you can do your long division. 8 can go into 37 four times. 4 times 8 is 32 and subtract and get 5. And here's where I was saying on this last uh, example, when you get quick at this, you're going to say 4 and 5 eighths is your final answer because you know 5 was your remainder and it becomes the numerator and 8 is your denominator. Okay?